I know, I know what you're thinking. Wow, Chris, don't you look delightful. Come on, let me hear you say that. Wow, Chris, don't you look delightful. <laughs> you know, look all right, will you? So it's fast about it. Really good evening. Welcome to the secret video show's DAFTA award ceremony. It's the most eagerly awaited television programme in any viewer's diary this year. Partly because it's a glittering night out, largely because it's the last in this series. The awards have been divided into six categories, and the winner of each, I hope you're concentrating, will win a DAFTA award plus a prize of £1,000. <laughs> Don't have a look silly. We have a specially invited celebrity audience with us tonight. Let's have a look at some of the top names are here. So there you are. Look, there's Meryl Streep. She looks lovely, doesn't she? A bit different than I remember in the last movie. She looks fabulous. She's grinning because she doesn't know we're looking at her. Who else have we got? Let's have a look. Um, who else have we got? Stars. Oh, look, there he is. There's Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome devil, isn't he? Look at him. <laughs> oh, there's Alistair Burnett. Well, <laughs> Pay tribute to this programme. Right at the end of the evening, they and the rest of the audience will be invited to vote for the video they thought was the funniest. Shouldn't be too tricky, should it? That video will receive the DAFTA award itself, a lovely piece of cardboard, plus £2,500. Wow. <laughs> yes, I was excited as well. <laughs> Over the past 14 weeks, we've viewed thousands, literally thousands, of home videos you sent us, and I must say, in all sincerity, we found most of them to be nothing short of complete and utter drivel. <laughs> Nevertheless, we have managed tonight to unearth some silly tapes, good tapes actually, which we've shown you throughout the last 14 weeks, and tonight's hour-long celebration rewards the very best. Here's a quick glimpse of some videos which, although they aren't nominations for the DAFTA Awards tonight, we thought you'd like to see them again for the simple reason that in every clip, something painful or terrible happens to someone. Great. That's the <laughs> sick audience we were hoping we were getting. And by God, we've got one. In fact, it's a shameless compilation of suffering we've come to enjoy so much on this series. Here's the first video tonight from Mr Young from Stevenage in Hertfordshire. Mr Young's video captured Lionel Blair rehearsing with sunglasses on so no one knew it was him. <laughs> Loved by men, women and children everywhere, but not apparently by animals. <laughs> Then we have this shallow water surfboarding. Now, the whole idea apparently is not to look a complete wazzock. Just <laughs> <laughs> Steve Wright failed miserably. <laughs> Funny name. Fancy being called Steve Wright, as if anybody ever get anywhere with a name like that. <laughs> And there was this trilling trio submitted by Mr. Michael Appleby, who made us for once realise that perhaps the roly polies aren't half bad after all. <laughs> They're also a lot more violent than the roly polies. <laughs> We had a plethora of talented pets. That means there was quite a lot of them. Paddy Baker from Worthing had a dog who couldn't keep his balance. <laughs> he did manage a passable impression of a dogfish. <laughs> from a small splash to a bigger one, a Mr Mark Perkins sent us this video of his mate, the brain of Britain, Billy Priestley. <laughs> Mr. T. Stewart of Potter's Bar sent us an exhibition of soccer skills begging the question, how on earth did we do so well in the World Cup? He did this. <laughs> did this. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely, lovely carpet? And weddings were another popular source of embarrassment. Caroline Bleach's video was a revelation. Keep your eye on the lady in the floral dress on the right. <laughs>
I told you this lot were a sick audience. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it was only by sheer good fortune that that lady remembered to put them on before she came out for the wedding. <laughs> I'd now like to introduce a man whose entire career has been blessed with great fortune. Boy, is he lucky to get any work at all with his minuscule talent. Yes, it's the thinking man's Martina Navratilova. <laughs> it's the sky sex machine himself. Your appreciation, please, for Peter Simon. Peter, you like. What? You look. Oh, well, that's you not. Look. It's what don't say it. Ridiculous. No, know. I just feel it. I look like, um. The, the management. management. <laughs> <laughs> And you do look like well, I'm your friend, trust my judgment. You do, you look like Well I don't you don't look so like good. A, you know, I know I can carry clothes. A poor it's man's so... Don Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> now, as you may have noticed, as you may have noticed, for the past um, 14 weeks, Peter Hare has travelled the length and breadth of the country. Oh, yes. Primarily to avoid arrest with his act. <laughs> but also with his little video camera crew meeting people and trying to find the great British joke. So here we go. The Peter Simon Roadshow, massively overfinanced each yeah, week, yeah, was bringing yeah. the budget to its knees. Finally, did find it didn't happen very often. It found just the once. Finally, did find pure gold. Remember this with a I lovely, did. tasteful family offering from a senior lady executive in a firm in Swindon. And who do we have here? You have Helen Guest here, General yeah. Manager, Client Services. General Manager. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fire away. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, mine's a bit longer than that. Uh, it's about a big eagle that was bored, and he was flying around. He thought, oh, God, what am I going to do today? I'm so bored. And he saw a little dove on the ground. He thought, oh, that looks nice. So he swooped down, and he made mad, passionate love to the little dove. And as the eagle flew off, a little voice said, I'm a little dove, and I've had a little love, and I'm happy. And the eagle flew on, and he saw a little tit on the ground. He thought, that looks nice, that little tit. <laughs> and he flew down and he made mad, passionate love to the little blue tit. And as the eagle flew off, a little voice said, I'm a little tit and I've had a little bit and I'm happy. And the eagle flew on and he looked down and he saw a little duck on the ground. <laughs> and again, swooped down, made mad, passionate love to the little duck. And, the eagle flew, and as the eagle flew away, a little voice said, I'm a little Drake and you've made a big mistake. <laughs> 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 Yes, you were worried for a second, weren't you? I was a bit, actually, because <laughs> I knew the original ending, yeah, so... I think you wrote the original, actually. Anyway, there she was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really embarrassed wherever she is. Uh, she's a general manager, client services, PHH Swindon, whatever that means. She's currently working as a trainee scriptwriter, although apparently Bernard Manning's rejected her material for being filth. <laughs> Certainly over the past 14 weeks, the majority of the videos that you've sent us have been of your kids. Now, these we thought would be heartwarming records of their growing up. What we thought. I should mention that none of the kids in this compilation of clips from the series really hurt themselves. Damn, missed. Good, clean, gentle fun. Just like me, really. Mary, Mary, why can't I be This is little cat. Amy Deering from Aylesbury with her pet cat. He does like it. Come away from him. You like it. <laughs> now, the great thing about this video is you all know what's going to happen, don't you? Nevertheless, because you're all sick out there, you can't wait for it to happen. <laughs> Mr. Saint from Bristol sent us this video of a sneaky little boy. <laughs> At least we thought this little gymnast sent in by Mr. David John Humphreys was going to keep his modesty covered. <laughs> in the end, he was just going. <laughs> Here's little Stephen from the West Country, safe with Mummy by the pool. She'll keep him nice and safe. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Goody family from Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Good family from Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth doing. It's worth doing twice. <laughs> 
Now, this is little Claire Taylor being Kylie Minogue. <laughs> and this was Ian Hughes from Birmingham trying not to let soccer success go to his head. <laughs> Mr. Percy Chant sent us this tape of his grandson Matthew playing in perfect safety. <laughs> now, this was little Luke Snelling who found a dribbling tap so deliriously exciting it completely affected his whole sense of direction. <laughs> Tony Murray from Slough showed us this tape of his kids undergoing early police motorcycle training. <laughs> but Jeanette Woods had the best idea so far. A harmless trip to a boating lake. Now, I know what you're thinking. Will he? Won't he? Will he? Won't he? Of course he will. <laughs> he did. I told you about this audience tonight. The best bit, they're all, when the kids are crying. Oh, exactly. brilliant tears. Oh, why? Chris, did you notice? Not one parent went to help. They all... <laughs> Sun drowning. Oh, let's recall that faithfully for posterity. <laughs> Altogether, as I said, quite seriously, uh, none of those kids actually did hurt themselves. Um, amazingly, nor did the lovable little chap who appeared, is a legend, this kid, who appeared quite early on in the series and uh -huh. has since become a secret video star. Now, his name was Adam and he came from Wales, where else? Now, in this infamous video, he suffered no physical pain at all. He just endured the mental torture of being denied chocolate on Christmas Eve. Chocolate. Can I eat my chocolate? Come on. Have some breakfast first. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't say breakfast. Do I or not? Yes. Have breakfast first, then you can have chocolate. Oh, He's become, uh, he's become quite a star on this, um, this series. He's got his own fan club. <laughs> we had a lot of fun at the time with his antics, saying he was an early graduate from the John McEnroe School of Charm and Temperament. <laughs> and he was usually dragged to school with a choke chain. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Is he really like that in real life? Well, we're about to find out. We've got our electric cattle prods at the ready, just in case. <laughs> Please welcome little Adam Fruin and his very patient father, Wayne. <laughs> This is, um, oh, this, is, this is Mr. Simon. How are you, Adam? Okay. Would you like this envelope? That's for you. Have a look inside, see what you've won. Which end do you want? That one? Go on then, quickly rip it open, go on. Now it's you very... use this stamp about one like that. It's very flat if it's chocolate, isn't it? Now, are you happy with that? Adam? Don't be stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> easily, please, isn't it? No, nobody could be happy with that, Adam. This is actually a special, I don't know if you can see that, special uh, secret video show, Dafter Award, Adam, just for sheer... What a, yes, that's it. Hold it up Great so the camera can't see it, possibly. That's it. <laughs> what else would you like? Is there Hold anything... That. What else would you like? <laughs> Let me... Look! Oh! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Guess what's in there? It's a huge bar of chocolate! Well done, what Chris! <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you working him with your books? Well, you have to say... He's, 
<laughs> Wayne, Wayne, I have to say as his dad, you were, on, that, on that video, you're, you're amazingly patient. Well, I was laughing my head off, believe it or not. <laughs> is, this, is this a sort of typical day in the oh, front of the household? All over. <laughs> no. <laughs> Easy. No! There's hundreds of them, look here, look. Do you want to take those home with you? But you can't eat any of them until Christmas Eve. <laughs> Put the what? Lids back on. Yes, OK, child. <laughs> 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 Give him a big hand. It's been great entertainment. Adam Frewin and his very yeah, passionate yeah. father, Wayne Frewin. Give him a big hand. Well done, well done. Well, that's fair. Well, can you manage that? <laughs> anyway, all the videos you've seen so far... <laughs> have a look at this. <laughs> it's a big shot! <laughs> we really... We wanted to get on with the rest of the awards. I'm about to kick in. Why about? Why did you just kick in? Right, all the, um, all the videos you've seen so far have won 25 quid for being shown during the series. Stay with us, because in a couple of minutes' time, or possibly longer the way things are going, we'll be announcing the first of our £1,000 winners. <laughs> See you in a couple of minutes after the break. <laughs> <laughs> In living colour, you'll laugh your socks off. This new Kleenex Velvet bathroom tissue is very soft, very strong, and because it's recycled, it's greener too. We've always chosen only the best natural ingredients for Dolmio, but tastes vary. So now we also make Dolmio with extra fresh garlic, extra garden herbs, and extra chunky vegetables. So whatever your taste, there's a lot more to Dolmio. A floor may look clean, but what about germs? Flash fights the dirt you can see and the germs you can't. And I love being a turtle! Ninja Turtles are here. 32 free Ninja Transfer tattoos straight from the new movie. And a fabulous fashion catalog with pages of amazing offers. A great free catalog. Ninja Transfer tattoos worth 99p. All in the unbeatable sun. Boris Becker, the defending champion. World number one, Stefan Edberg. Title chasing, Yvonne Lendl. That man McEnroe. Part of an incredibly powerful field competing for $2 million in prize money at the Paris Open. Enjoy the second day's play tomorrow afternoon at 1, midday UK, on Eurosport, in association with Nike and Intersport. Thursday at 9, wise guy. You broke your cover for a personal vendetta. Right, I'm going to get this guy whether you help me or not. He's an undercover cop running with love. I'm with you, Sonny. If you want the action, I'm there. Once undercover, there's no turning back. Operation, huh? Yeah. The only screw up is they didn't get me. Yeah, me too. I don't think there was any mistake. Are we doing business or are we going to war? Why is Guy Thursday at 9 on Sky One? Here we are. The specially invited celebrity audience have finished their curly sandwich and are now settling back for the first DAFTA award and £1,000 prize in the category Most Hilarious Holiday. Now, the three nominations all concern animals and how to mount them. Celebrities. <laughs> 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 The first is a video of Kerry Grantham taking on holiday in Gran Canaria and concerns a woman trying to mount a camel. Now, as you remember, stop it. As you remember last week, I warned you to watch out. We ran this clip last week. I warned you to watch out for the unashamed use by the cameraman of the zoom lens for what we in the trade call bum shots. <laughs> Come on, quickly. Come on. Yes, well, it's a cheeky little video so far, isn't it? This is probably the only time in her life this lady will appear on television. Did you look at her on a crowded street? Well, certainly not face to face, you wouldn't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It seems the local custom is if you can't mount the camel, the least you can do is give it a kiss. <laughs> mm. A lot of suppers being thrown in the dustbin. <laughs> well, the second nomination for Most Hilarious Holiday comes from Mr Joseph Obi. Now, his tape records an incident which occurred during his holiday in somewhere high-class and elegant like Lorette Del Mar. <laughs> Mr Obi's video camera captured this shy, retiring young lady trying to mount a bucking bronco. <laughs> <laughs> Told her name, but she looked as if she was really enjoying the whole experience. I can't believe people send this stuff in. <laughs> Sadly, we have to leave the item there. There's a great deal more as well. None of it's screenable, though. Brian Woodhouse, a policeman from Pontefract, shot this video while on honeymoon with his new wife, Ruth. <laughs> while Ruth got to grips with the elephant, the elephant handlers had no hesitation in getting to grips with Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> now bear in mind, this is the new Mrs. Woodhouse's honeymoon, and her new husband, Mr. Woodhouse, a policeman, is on the other end of the video camera. <laughs> Those are the three nominations for the um, the best video of this particular section. Now, what's the name of the winner, please, Pete? The winner of the DAFTA award and a check for one thousand pounds. Gosh! Goes to Ruth Woodhouse, the mounting of an elephant. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, oh, you're smiling. Oh, no. how long? Oh. Will you stop that, for goodness oh, sake? God, it's like... Oh, it's like being on the streets again. So, listen, you've already won a thousand pounds. What are you, you going to do with it? Any ideas? Well, I can go on holiday again and uh, try more, for you next. More elephants. She could buy the elephant, actually, if she... I mean, if she wanted to. Who knows? OK, well, you've got a daft reward. You've got a thousand pounds as one of tonight's winners. You could be in the frame for the final prize of two thousand five hundred pounds. <gasps> smell of elephant. Give her a big hand. Wow. There she is, Ruth Woodhouse. Well done, Ruth. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Winners tonight. Good night. Right, our second £1,000 DAFTA award category this evening is for the wackiest wedding. The first nomination is for the reception after the wedding of Sarah and Paul Bantry in Norwich. Paul, the not-so-gallant new groom, sitting there heaving with laughter while it's left to her dear old dad to help her up. The next is a snippet from the reception at the sophisticated society wedding of Paula and Alan Chu in Great Yarmouth. <laughs> <laughs> a 
As you can see, it's all a very upmarket affair. In fact, I can't remember reading about this wedding in the Tatler. I'm sure that's Nigel Dempster in the background there, soaking his teeth in a glass of brown ale. <laughs> Paula announces here that her bottom is a little painful, or words to that effect. Very sad that she had a really nasty headache on her wedding night. My <laughs> next lucky wedding. <laughs> it's not easy sometimes, is it? No, Chris, it's certainly not when you're doing it. Our next wacky wedding video records the chaos caused at the marriage of Dennis and Carol Melville. Now, Dennis is the one on the left with the brilliant white teeth and matching hair. I call upon these persons here, present, here, present, to witness, to witness, to witness. That I, that I, Dennis Ernest He says, this is awful, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Dennis, it certainly was. Well, the final nomination was shot after the ceremony where Jane had just married Michael Machin. Something to do with the shadow cabinet. But proved that weddings and the weather seldom go hand in hand. Now, you can understand the bride being nervous, but on this wedding day, everybody got the wind up. <laughs> uh, the great thing is he didn't look silly, and I think that's so important. <laughs> the best man, Mr. <laughs> the best man, a uh, gentleman called Mr. John Coulson. I just want everybody to know his name, so he's suitably embarrassed with a posy on his head, and we understand he's still wearing it to this day. <laughs> so those are the nominations. Peter, can you please tell us who the committee have voted for our £1,000 winner? I have the envelope here, all fingers and thumbs. The category of wackiest wedding of 1990. Daft reward and a cheque for £1,000 goes to Paula and Alan Thew of Great Yarmouth for that very sophisticated wedding where they couldn't stand up. There you are. I think they're actually called Paula and Alan Chu. Give them a big hand for Chu. You do it, Mars. Come down here. Yes, it's the... Congratulations. It's well the done. Chew. 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 Chews. Help you breathe more easily. <laughs> well, then in that case, I'm proud to present you with a cheque for a thousand pounds. Ooh. There you are. Oh. Oh. That's, that's good. That's good. Well, now, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, nice. Look, no, no, that was so insincere. It wasn't. It was a little peck. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> Married. He's a karate black belt. Oh, he got me, I heard. Well done, Alan. Great work. That's that right? great. So here they are, they'll be great sports. Paula and Alan, choose! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, join us in a couple of minutes, if you dare. Peter and I will be doling out more dough and more dafters after the break. Join us in a couple of minutes. Here is Bart Simpson, wildlife photographer, preparing to photograph an unusual courtship display. Do you swear not to let another living soul get a copy of this photo? Okay. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yep. Stick a needle in your eye? Yep. Jam a dagger in your thigh? Yep. Eat a horse manure pie? Yep. Well, okay. We expose the latest developments in The Simpsons. My goodness. Thursday at 8 o'clock on Sky One. Wonder pots. Pots of choice, pots of warmth, and pots of taste. When you need a hot filling snack, what's stopping you? A crisp, rich chocolate flavour coating, luscious vanilla ice cream, and through the middle, the bubbles in the sky. Sky is the new Chuck Bar experience from Walls. 
you can get carried away by the bubbles in the sky. A little turkey, a little game. Tigger will never be the same. A little duck, heart and liver. Pears Molly is the one to give her. A little look, a little touch. How can so little mean so much? New Whiskers Select Menus. Something special for both of you. There are brands that could wash up after Sunday lunch in every flat in this block. But Fairy, well, it could do next door. If you don't want to splash out this Christmas, Argus takes care of it. Debbie has cash flow problems. Where's Dad, Jeff? You mean Scrooge? He's gone out. <laughs> no, I need to borrow some money from him. Well, don't look at me. My piggy bank's constipated. Nudge and Simon have car problems. Well, you better check your car clock, Mr. Kelly. Why? Well, I was fiddling with it. You broke it. Oh, oh, no, Mr. Kelly, it's still going. Oh, that's a relief. Backwards. Join the Kellys in Hey Dad, Friday at 7.30 on Sky One. Welcome back. Here we still seem to be in the um, great banqueting hall here at Sky. I'll say it's a lot nicer in here since we let all the sheep out earlier today. <laughs> the next DAFTA award is for craziest pet. Try and concentrate, Peter. We're trying to do a show here. I couldn't get over the sheep real quick. We've had many pet videos throughout the series, but we've managed to nail them down to a final three. <laughs> videos, that is not that pets. <laughs> Number one was sent in by a guy called Frank Bristow from Alton in Lancashire. Now, apparently, this is a typical day around his house. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frank Bristow, for a glimpse of your chimps. <laughs> and Lucky, the oldest monkey... Glimpse of your chimps. And Lucky, the oldest monkey, who I know is watching at the moment with Frank... No, no, please, please. Our second nomination comes from please. Andrew Knox, who's a marvellous exhibition of ball control by one of the <laughs> soccer stars of Barking Rovers. It's a little joke, really. <laughs> nomination was submitted by Terry Horn from County Durham and it shows the world's worst possible guard dog poised and ready to spring into action. <laughs> like drains through kids crying and all go ah through that bit. Oh, yeah. has been burgled 107 times. <laughs> I'm not sure about craziest pet, he's more like the laziest pet. Now Peter would you please announce the um, winner of this category. The category of the craziest pet and the DAFTA award. I'm really good, it's getting good this isn't it? And a cheque for a... It's getting better. <laughs> what? It's getting better. And a cheque for a good, thousand pounds. Better. You can't... Look at that. Ripping the envelope open. Oh, Taking out the Muscles DAFTA of award. steel. It what? Muscles of steel. 
Yes, there's no need to be like that. See my veins stand out like rip cords. Come on, just do it. Is this exciting now? The yes. winner is yeah. Terry Horn for the craziest pet, and what a guard dog that was. What a guard dog it was, Terry Horn. Congratulations, you've got yourself a £1,000. Get him out here. Terry, congratulations. Hey, how is Lassie? She's not too well at the moment. She, the, oh. That dog actually is called Lassie, isn't it? It is, yes. She, she's yes. called Lassie. I thought it was a, an original name. Yeah, no, oh, obviously, it took months of planning. He's been a great sport. What a shame the rat and the dog weren't in. Oh, Give him a big hand, Terry Hall. Well done, Sam. Well done. Oh. Our next category is called the silliest home howler. The first howler comes from a lady called Jean Baker from Plat. Wales, and she's trying <laughs> to mount. Yes, we're back to that again. She's trying to mount her grandson's toy motorbike. There she went, uh, Jean Baker, the uneasy rider, a rebel without a clue. Now, the <laughs> second nomination, she really is a grandmother. The second nomination is a glorious video of a gentleman called Mr. Ron Pitt in the bath. Yes, feast your eyes on this, girls. Ron's doing an impression of. Um, <laughs> of no idea. If you had a body like Ron's, would you send a video? Nah. I suppose for two and a half grand you might. You too could have a body like Ron's if you're not ever so careful. The third and final howler in this category is a homemade pop video. Now, it stars those two raving rockers, the Peroxide Sisters, but they're better known locally as Rosie Potter and Elizabeth Watts, strutting their funky stuff and getting their yah yars out. <laughs> in the audience this evening and frankly none of them look any better in real life the announcement of the winner please peter simon the category silliest home howler the daft reward as normal and a check for one thousand pounds giving away more money than i've earned in a lifetime the, the winner is yes. jean baker our granny on the motorbike yes jean yes. baker Oh, no, no. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Jean, I'm proud to uh, give and you... Honoured. And honoured. And honoured. And lucky to be here. <laughs> well, there she is, the fabulous Greece granny herself. Yes, Jean Baker. Well, well, well done, Jean. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. After the break, in a couple of minutes, we'll be finding out who was the biggest sporting flop and who is the cutest kid in Britain. We'll be right back for more in a couple of minutes. Whether you want us to <laughs> The greatest science fiction TV series ever made. This is war. A game we Klingons play to win. To boldly go. Emotions are alien to me. I'm a scientist. Someone else might believe that, but not me. Where no Vulcan has been before. Where good and evil battle for the stars. Space, the final frontier. War Factor 8. Star Trek, Sunday through Thursday, 11 p.m. on Sky One. The unmistakable sound of status quo. Rockin' all over the years. The ultimate collection celebrating 25 years of a rock institution. Twenty-two tracks including all their top ten hits. Rockin' all over the years. 
It's out now. We've always chosen only the best natural ingredients for Dolmio. But tastes vary. So now we also make Dolmio with extra fresh garlic, extra garden herbs, and extra chunky vegetables. So whatever your taste, there's a lot more to Dolmio. I just had a conversation with your lass. Have you done? It's amazing what you find out. Oh? You've started saving, then. Bit of a change of habit. Her father's an accountant, Dad. I asked his advice. Trying to get on his good side, were you? No. I merely wanted to know what was suitable for someone in my tax position. And? He reckoned the new national savings certificates. Because they're tax-free. Really? I don't get clobbered, you see. Even at my tax rate. Well, son, I'm pleased to hear it. George? What's this about you nearly playing for Huddersfield Town? 1995. A race of alien newcomers have created a new life on Earth. Alien Nation. They find our ways strange. We cut it open and ripped its insides out. What is this disgusting tradition? It's Halloween, Mom. They bring with them their own myths and legends. He fills the night with screams. And when a serial killer strikes... Are they just stories, George? Ancient myths become reality. Alien Nation, Wednesday at 8. Welcome back to the Sky's Grand Banqueting Hall. The audience are all now on the edges of their seats, basically because it's the softest part of those uncomfortable, cheap vinyl chairs we bought. <laughs> Let's go up now to the winners' VIP enclosure, see how they're enjoying the show so far. Hello, lucky winners. You wouldn't believe they've all won a grand, these people. Look at them. Hello. Right, well, that's some fun up there. Certainly, our next category is entitled <laughs> Biggest Sporting Flop. First one is golf. This is a video. It's shot by a guy called Rex Mackey. Now, it concerns his friend, or probably ex-friend, Terry, who's just off the fairway, about to play a wood. So they are. He was supposed to play a wood. Instead, he just played a single tree. Oh. Ben Elton. A master stroke, though, and win a thousand pounds tonight. It's a sort of You're golfing. You're determined to go down this old chestnut, are go you? Go down with you the Titanic. You go down. That's all I can say. Right, our second sporting flop comes in a steeplechase. Now it stars a guy called Steve Bell from Newcastle on Tyne. He's right at the back of the field. Where else? He's the one in the red and white vest. <laughs> Watch it in slow motion once again. Let's relive every mouth-watering moment. <laughs> Our third and final nomination features the sport of dressage, where skilled horsemanship and firm control are a must. Man and beast must move together as one with but a single common purpose. <laughs> like the display by Martin Ward from oh, no. Wales. <laughs> The best people on some of these are the blokes you never ever see, the blokes on the videos howling with laughter and not helping at all. <laughs> I must say, the committee in this particular section were hard pushed to split those sporting spectacles into a one, two, and three. But, Peter, we've done it, haven't we? Yes, they have. In the uh, biggest sporting flop category, the DAFTA award and the thousand pounds, it went marginally to. Here it is Martin Ward, Horseman Extraordinaire. Ah, <laughs> what up? Come on, Martin. Come on, Martin. Martin, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, did you hurt yourself? No, I didn't. So, um, so what you can do with the thousand pounds? Any ideas? What you? I treat my granddad to a holiday. Your granddad? Yes. Oh. What are you doing? Horse riding together? <laughs> <are you? laughs> 
<laughs> okay, congratulations, you've been a good sport. Thanks for uh, drying out, especially. He's got a thousand pounds. There it is, a thousand pounds. I can't help noticing actually Martin um, Ward. Yes, I know. <laughs> can't help. Just thought I'd mention this detail that it says pay Jill Pritchard a grand. Yes. That's my Who's Jill? Name. That's what? my stage name. Oh, come on, who is who? Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> No, that's my fiance. Your fiance? Yeah. It's oh. a se secret video show, which she sent it in secretly. Now give him a big hand. Martin Ward, Jill Pritchard, and the horse and dad, and everybody else. Come on. There's still one category to be judged that's the cutest kid. There are three nominations for this award. Now, if you cast your mind back, make it go a complete blank. Yeah, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> to our first show. Do you remember... I love this one. Do you remember Tiny Timo from Canvey Island? Now, he was the little lad who desperately tried not to doze off, not to go to sleep, despite the fact that his mum and dad had given him a chocolate-coated sleeping pill. Right, here he goes. Little Timo. Just about ready for pee-pee nine-eyes. There he goes. <laughs> Come on, Timo. Go to sleep. That's it. There goes the chocolate-covered Mogadon. <laughs> He's going. The eyes are going. That's it. There. Night, night. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, you go on, son. Come on. There. That's it. He's gone. No. Hey. Go on. Go. That's it. No. He's... Timo, will you go to sleep? Yeah! <laughs> The second nomination was sent in by Frank McCaffrey from Halifax. Well, they all talk like that. And it's a tape of little Christopher break dancing. Right, our final contender was sent to us by a lady called Jenny Atkin from Clybank. Now, it appeared in last week's show. It's another one of our attractive eating items. We're so fond of on the show. Mmm, it's crummy, nummy. There he was, little John Atkin enjoying a bar of chocolate. Looks the same at both ends, apparently. <laughs> Those are... <laughs> you did not say that. I did not say you that. You did not say Those that. Those are the nominations. Peter, will you please announce the winner in the cutest kid category? I've got to say, this is one of my favourite categories, this. I'm dealing with kids most of the time. Uh, a thousand pounds. Please, audience, please. The DAFTA Award, and it goes to... John Aitken for eating his chocolate, but not in his mouth. Here they are with Mum as well, John and Jenny Aitken. <laughs> Hiya. Uh, Hello. Hello. Um... <laughs> it's not a bad Hi. judge, really, is he? <laughs> well, this is Mum. Hi, I'm Mum. This is Great Uncle Peter. <laughs> this is for you. Look, come to Daddy. That's <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. How well, that's a bit of a surprise. No. You came oh, around. No. <laughs> Uh, Peter Simon is now the father of this child. Well, it's now. The ice is becoming more complex by the second. That's you it. There's Dad. Back Dad. Okay. Back look, to Dad. Look what Dad. we've got for you. Oh, look at this. A thousand. It seems to be going to Jenny Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we ought to get here. Oh, we'll give him a big hand. A thousand pounds for the Atkin family. What well up? Yeah. Little treasure. Right, during the break, our specially invited celebrity audience will be voting for the video that they consider to be the very best of the six category winners. Now, everybody's won £1,000 so far tonight. This is where it gets deadly serious. The decision really is entirely in their hands. They'll decide who's going to walk away tonight with £2,500 in addition to £1,000 they've already won. Join us in a couple of minutes to find out and enjoy a thrilling climax. <laughs> This week, Maddie leads the girls forward as David faces up to equal rights. You just can't stand it when a woman stands up for her rights, can you? I like my women laying down, okay? I come from a long line of missionaries. We owe him more than five yards in a cloud of dust. We owe him nothing less than total victory. I thought this was a crusade, but David Addison has turned it into a holy war. Two, four, six, eight! Who are we gonna liberate? Us. Yeah! Take your sides for Moonlighting, Wednesday at 9, on Sky One.
I'm coming. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, what's this? Very ultra. Non-bio. We can't recommend that. But it's a technological breakthrough. Leaves nothing on bios behind. Well, leaves them behind, eh? Yeah. Look, all I, I want to know is, will it out-clean the leading non-bio at low temperatures on tough stains like... Tea. Beetroot. Beetroot. Um... Yeah, piece of cake. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Now, give us a clean, will you? Ah, I knew it wouldn't shift the beetroot. No, this is the Fairy Ultra one. It did shift it. New Fairy Ultra. At low temperatures, all it leaves behind is other non-bios. Gillette announces a razor that can sense the individual needs of your face. Gillette, the best of men. Introducing the extraordinary Gillette Sensor Shaving System. Sensor blades are mounted on responsive springs to continuously sense and adjust to your face. Closer, smoother, safer. For a shave that is unsurpassed. New Gillette Sensor. Gillette, the best of men The most wanted men in America are back. Emilio Estevez. Keeper Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Christian Slater. I'll make you famous. Young Guns 2. The boys are all fired up. The Ashes, coming soon, live on Sky One. It was 1940, a time filled with promise and high expectations. I think that we are the brightest, handsomest, most sophisticated crew to ever grace Bear Harbor. I think we're going to make history. They were the dreamers, romantics, in love with life. We've got magic tonight. Kiddo, we can do anything. Look at that. That is the entrance of all the automobiles on Earth. Their story captured the spirit of an era. The Last Convertible, part one, next Sunday at 8 on Sky One. Welcome back. God, it feels like months since you were here last. You join us for the breathtaking highlight of the secret video show. Well, that had to be one, didn't there? The announcement of the best video of the entire series in the considered opinion of our audience with us here tonight in Sky's great banqueting hall. Peter, is the voting all in? Seeing as you are the host of the secret video show, it's only fitting that you, as my leader, my hero, <laughs> my co-presenter, should open the envelope. I've always hated grovellers. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are right, though. It is absolutely fitting that I should. <laughs> Especially because you'd only make an absolute pig's ear on it. Right, here we go. Serious business. 2,500 pounds at stake. <laughs> Reef. No. Good Lord. Well. Do we tell them at home or just give it to ourselves? I think we'll bet it's OK, and the opinion of our live audience here in the great banqueting hall at Sky Television, the best video on the secret video show 1990, and the winner of the DAFTA award and £2,500 is Welsh Wonder Horseman Martin Ward! Yeah! Shaken out by people he's never seen before in his life. <laughs> him, 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 that kissing him, that thrilled. Oh, and he is Martin Ward, and of course it's the Oxford Jill. Put him in. Oh. I'll let you do the honor. Well done, Alex. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yes, that is me, Jill. Hey, uh, how does it feel? All right, so oh, she's a very attractive woman. She's got four grand. Know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Martin, fell in the river, broke every bone in his body, got nothing. Well, Thanks very much for being great sports. You've got um, overall two and a half thousand pounds, plus the thousand you already got, plus uh, earlier in the series they were winner of the week. And this all goes to you, but in fact it's all going to Grandad. <laughs> Is that right? You can take his Grandad. I bet sitting at home, Grandad's going, <laughs> <laughs> OK, first of all, then the sash, please. Wait, the sash, I think, probably look better on Jill, actually. It, I'm going to put it on Jill, OK? <laughs> well, I know what you're It's like. been a... There you are. Put your arms up. It helps, Julie. See it. <laughs> okay. Put it over your head. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh there we are. Ooh. And, and it's made of now. real cloth. Silk. 
please. And you... Pardon? Have a feel of that. It's good schmutter. It is. And, you've got your work. and now, it gives me and Chris. Chris and I. Chris and I. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Chris. Chris and I, great pleasure to present you with this cheque for two and a half thousand Give a big hand. Well done. Thank you. Okay, stay with us now. Let's um, just once more, I think we can all enjoy it again. Let's take one final look. Here we go again, another soaking. Let's take a final look at the video that has just won this couple £2,500 as the best video of the series. <laughs> oh, no. That's it for us for this series of Too Good Video Show. Thanks seriously to all of you at home for all the tapes you've sent in throughout the summer. It's been good fun. Thanks for being such good sports. Thanks for letting us um, peep into your private lives. What extraordinary lives you're all living out there. We're off now to help all tonight's winners spend some of their winnings. I didn't mention that. Sorry, <laughs> Grandad. Keep your video camera handy at all times. Keep the tapes coming into us at Sky. You could end up a winner on the next series of The Secret Video Show. From Peter Simon and myself, good night. ta -da. Bye! The series of the highly popular secret video show begins on Wednesday night at 7.30 here on Sky One. Meanwhile, next tonight, we beam up to the galaxy with Captain Kirk and his crew for an adventure that's not been seen on British television before. Meet Plato's stepchildren. No sooner have we finished the first than, yes, we're starting the second series of The Secret Video Show. The tapes you've been sending in prove beyond doubt that the Sky Television audience is more affectionate, more caring, more downright depraved than we ever thought possible. Each show will feature nothing but your home videos in all their grisly glory. And remember, keep them coming because we pay for every one we show with a top prize of £2,500. A new series of The Secret Video Show, Wednesday, 7.30 on Sky One. The Australian Grand Prix, live on Eurosport on November the 4th. Every weekday night before that final race, we'll be looking back at the pick of the previous Grand Prix. Starting with the British Grand Prix, Monday night at 12.30, 11.30 UK on Eurosport, in association with Longines. And another thing, where's my saw? You want your saw? I'll give you your saw back. When it comes to an all-purpose saw, there's no arguing with a Bosch. The Bosch all-purpose saw cuts most jobs down to size. A floor may look clean, but what about germs? Flash fights the dirt you can see and the germs you can't. Low-fat instant Horlicks, the natural way to relax. A few years from now... I am the Night Rider. There is no law, there are no rules, there is Mad Max. It's that rat circuit's out there. I'm beginning to enjoy it. From a land that needed a hero, Came a legend you'll never forget. We're gonna give them back their heroes! The original hero of the Australian Outback, Mad Max. They're getting longer out on that road, and I'm one of them, you know? A terminal crazy. Mel Gibson, the original road warrior. Mad Max. And soon, the Mad Max trilogy on Sky Movies. Friday on Hunter. Conductive jelly. Like to conduct electricity. Not the kind of stuff we find in every corpse they wheel in here. Well, who would want to torture and murder the typical ordinary girl next door? Murder.
that exposes an international plot. I'm sorry, I cannot risk having you involved with this operation. But I am involved in this. Don't you understand that? Hunter, Friday at 9 on Sky One.